Hi guys, advertisers boycott Facebook. Why? Because Facebook earns money on hate speech. Brands like Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Verizon, Unilever decided to stop their advertisement on Facebook, at least for the months of July. Are you gonna tell me really if Facebook's supposed to be the most restricted leftist network? Let's look who's behind this whole thing and what are their demands. They have a website called stophateforprofit.org. Let's look what they want. Social media has allowed hate and extremists to spread faster and further than ever before, which caused real harm to real people. Every day our organization are alerted to numerous examples of hate and misinformation across Facebook products, which are supported by paid advertisers. I thought Islamic terrorism groups on Facebook are banned and heavily regulated, but maybe I'm wrong, let's read further. They allowed incitement to violence against protesters fighting for racial justice in America. In the wake of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Tony McDade, uh, Ahmaud Arbery and Richard Brooks and so many others. Okay, now I got it. This is basically a cult of George Floyd organization. I guess 90% of violence are coming from protesters. And then when you have three completely fake stories like Floyd, Arbery and Brooks, uh, they all are reviewed on my channel. Why don't you create another hoax? Facebook allowed violence against these amazing people. Did they set on fire Black Lives Matter's offices? Destroyed protesters' cars? Or maybe looted all BLM supported businesses? Like, really? Okay, let's move on. They named Breitbart News as trusted news source and made the Daily Caller a fact checker, despite both publications having records of working with known white nationalists. Well, I don't like Breitbart, but Breitbart is the same kind of news as CNN or MSNBC. If you call fake news CNN as a trusted source, you should call Breitbart as a trusted source. That's a simple rule of freedom of speech. If you don't like it, you have to ban all the major media. They turned a blind eye to blatant water suppression on their platform. It's a standard leftist hoax. Some people in America believe that you don't need to have an ID if you want to vote. I kind of agree. People like me without any US citizenship should be able to travel to US and vote for Donald Trump, right? Could they protect and support black users? Could they call out Holocaust denial as hate? What? Facebook is responsible for black people protection? I would recommend everyone who needs some protection just to go and buy a gun and stop complaining. Support black users. What does it mean? Are they supposed to give them money or what? I don't get it. <laughs> there is a group of Holocaust deniers and they're very stupid people. But it's a very small group and no one really cares about them. And it's very easy to challenge their point of view. Is it really a problem? And again, why this should be considered a hate? For example, Black Lives Matter denies all lives matter. I don't consider this a hate, but just a leftist stupidity. Okay, we are dealing with another fake things movement, uh, but let's look at their demands. Basically, it's a long and boring document. They are demanding a strong Facebook censorship by people called civil rights experts. It's a cryptic term, which means basically a radical leftist, uh, low intellectual people who wants to prohibit everything which is against their agenda. But let me show you a couple of laughable parts. Find and remove public and private groups focused on the white supremacy, the militia, anti-Semitism, violent conspiracies, Holocaust denialism, vaccine misinformation, and climate denialism. My position on that, if people are not calling for violence, they should be allowed. This is a simple rule of freedom of speech. And Facebook prohibits all the violence. Vaccine misinformation. Obviously, I'm a full supporter of science and vaccine. But the whole vaccine denialism is based on rare cases of death or illness which happened around vaccination and these events are usually not related to vaccination. Black Lives Matter using the same kind of principle. They are picking up some rare cases where black people died because of white people. And they are claiming racism here. And in the vast majority of the cases, the actual reason of death is their violence or heart attack or some kind of other unrelated to racism cases. If you want to ban vaccine misinformation, you also have to ban Black Lives Matter movement. Climate denialism. Climate is a new religion nowadays. It's very sad that such an important topic is occupied by leftist pseudoscientists. The science is based on principle of skepticism and denialism. So basically you want to deny the whole scientific approach here. One day I will make a separate video about what's going on with all this climate change thing. Enable individuals facing severe hate and harassment to connect with a live Facebook employee. In no other sector does a company not have a way for victims of their products to seek help. 
It's basically funny. Leftist wants to create another slice of offended people. So now it's Facebook's users' lives matter. <laughs> you got the point. Basically, we got small and miserable leftist group which are trying to take off freedom of speech from all of us. Now the question is, why Coca-Cola supports something like this? First of all, Coca-Cola is one of the most disgusting capitalist establishments. They are producing a highly sugary shitted drinks, which are causing so many health problems. All their products are very cheap to produce, but they have quite a huge profits because of such a huge mass scale. Why they are so successful? Uh, maybe because they have unique products? No, because they do crazy amount of advertisements. They are basically hypnotizing naive people across the world with their ads everywhere. If I was a leftist dictator, I would ban all the Coca-Cola advertisements everywhere. Sadly, Facebook cannot ban Coca-Cola ads alone because that would violate the anti-competition laws. It's a weird world we are living in. Another sad thing happened on YouTube. Basically, they banned a bunch of so-called prominent white supremacists. I was familiar with only one of them, uh, it's Stefan Molyneux, and this guy had lots of videos, uh, 300 millions of views, almost 1 million of subscribers. I watched some of his videos and I don't remember any hate speech there. Stefan is self-proclaimed philosopher and he's definitely a right-wing guy. And I disagree with most of his conclusions and his faulty logic. But nonetheless, it's very insightful for me to understand what's going on in the brain of people like him. And some of his videos were not even right bias at all, and they were just simply great. In any case, Stefan was strictly playing by YouTube rules. There were never any calls for violence, and he never explicitly claimed any kind of supremacy. The thing I found the most problematic, he had this channel for 12 years, and according to his claims, there were no any warning. They basically banned the whole channel, and not based on any specific video, but just on the whole picture. I don't think this is right. Basically, we are entering to the new era of online censorship, and it's not really driven by tech companies, as most of you might assume. It's driven by a small and miserable group of leftist, neo-Marxist activists. They are really powerful. If tech doesn't obey, they will destroy it. We are living in a very fragile time, and the only way to survive is to create some kind of a good alternative to this leftist bullshit. If radical left takes the social media, people are gonna move to somewhere else. You're gonna tell me there is no way to move and you cannot create any social network within a couple of days and compete with these kind of tech giants, right? But what if Chinese tech giants decided to abolish their censorship for US market? Would you imagine a situation when Americans would leave Facebook for some alternative Chinese social networks in sake of freedom of speech? That sounds crazy, but it could be real. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time, bye!